The Game Day Broadcast Network is proud to present Baseball Media Day, hosted by the Ballpark Loudon. Baseball Media Day is brought to you by Capital Closets, a perfect solution for all of your storage needs. By Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. Visit Robin O'Connor and her team the next time you have to get back in the game. And by Finnegan's Grill and Irish Pub, the best sports pub and grill in Ashburn. So game day, Gavin Morris here, um, South Lakes High School, Reston, Virginia. Um, assistant head coach at South Lakes. Um, where do we start with? 19 to six last year. Lost in the regional championship to Herndon. Um, tough game, good game, uh, great atmosphere, um, and you know they just beat us by one. Um, we were senior heavy last year. Um, we lost our co-player of the year in Jamie Quinn Irons, now George Mason. Uh, Robbie Reddington was our catcher. We lost him. Uh, Jake Steele, our first baseman. Um, Colin Casey was the left fielder pitcher for us. And our uh, ace pitcher, uh, Erdo, Ryan Erdelswag, also um, graduated as well. Um, got a lot of, got a couple kids are returning this year, young kids. But at the end of the day, when you get to a regional championship with some of these young kids, they know what it takes to get there. Um, we got kids, Ryan, Ryan O'Connor back at third base for us. Uh, Owen Wojciechowski, our pitcher catcher. Um, Joe D'Alessandro, one of our outfielders. Um, these other guys are all seniors here. Um, Jonah Pup, Nyhart's our shortstop. Um, all these guys are three, three year starters for us. Um, and when you, know, like I said, when you have some success last year, they got a feeling for it. Um, it should be a pretty good season. Um, we had a great off season. Guys worked hard in the weight room. Um, got bigger, stronger. I um, think we got a little faster, but that's still to be determined. Uh, but we're definitely bigger and stronger. Um, other than that, uh, got a couple holes to fill. Uh, like I said, we got a couple kids that went off and are already playing college baseball. Um, had some success right now in college baseball. Um, but like I said, uh, still a quote from uh, the guy that just went in front of me, Mark Jorman. Uh, never, uh, you know, graduate guys, but you know the history's still there. Okay. Uh, so they got a taste of it last year. Coach Bob Duncan from Game Day Magazine, thanks for being with us, and uh, we wish the, the, all the best for South Lakes coming up this season. You mentioned that you got a couple of guys that are uh, coming back, and, and the, uh, they got some, some, a taste of the, the region championship last year. Right. Who are you looking for to, to kind of have a breakout year this year, and, and uh, who can we, we be watching for on the, on the Seahawks um, that night? That's a good question. I mean, I, you expect all of them to have it. Um, it's not like they didn't have, they had bad years last year. Um, but our, our, our go-to guy, our leader, is going to be probably Ron O'Connor. He's our return to third baseman. Um, we got Owen Wojciechowski, who's our, our number one pitcher this year. Um, and, you know, when you got three or four guys returning, you expect them to, you know, be our leaders. Um, expect them to be our go-to guys. Coach George Calsa from Game Day. What are the strengths of this team and what areas do you think you guys are going to have to work on to get better? Strength, I think, we got, I think we're pretty solid defensively, um, especially up the middle. We, you know, we're going to return a shortstop. We've got a, 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 a young second baseman, projected second baseman right now, and our uh, center field is going to be pretty good as well. Um, we're junior top heavy, so that means they're – you could say we're a year away, but and I don't like to say that we're a year away because some of these guys had experience a year ago. So um, I figure, like I admit, our defense is what we're probably going to hang our hat on this year. Good, solid defense going to keep us in the game. We got decent pitching that's going to help us out as well. Coach, getting to the regional championship last year is uh, obviously a, a great goal. It was a great accomplishment for your team. But um, what specific goals do you have uh, coming into the season, and, and what specific things are you looking for? Well, I mean, I don't think I'll be saying anything to any other coach that's been up here. I mean, I go every year. I mean, and you know, I, this when I was a head coach, was to win the region. You know, I mean, if you don't coach to win championships, then you, you, you know, 
you're probably not in the wrong, you're in the wrong sport. I mean, whatever sport it is, football, basketball, you coach to win championships. That's what you remember by. I mean, you know, but at the same time, you know, I want our kids to go out and, and get that feeling winning a, a championship. You know, we just went to our boys basketball program, just won the region last last night. Most of our kids were there cheering them on. I go, now, hope they'll be able to come cheer us on. I mean, they were there last year when they cheered us on in the regional championship. But they got it, you know, they got it done last night, the other night. And it's just, you know, keeping it all together and getting back to where we getting back to that game. Coach, who are the uh, players you think can make some noise offensively this year? Um, you, know, you got to start off with, you know, our returning third baseman, Ryan O'Connor. Um, he's been in the line of each, any bats anywhere from first to third. Um, Jonah Nyhart, uh, he was anywhere from our leadoff hitter to, you know, top half of the uh, lineup there. Um, who else do we have? Uh, Joe D'Alessandro, if he, you know, he's, he's, Game slowed down for him this year, so hopefully he can be a big part of our, our hitting lineup as well. All these guys are seniors. Um, so we're looking for those guys to really step up and play a big role in our uh, hitting lineup. Coach, having had a good deal of success last year, obviously any time that uh, somebody sees South Lakes on their schedule, they're going to circle that date on the calendar. Is there a specific team or a specific date that, uh, that, that you guys are looking forward to more than others? <laughs> um, no, I mean, we, we always circle the Herndon game because that's just our cross-town rival. But, I mean, our conference is tough. I mean, you circle every game on that conference schedule of ours. You know, you got the Warhawks twice. You got Chantilly twice. You got Divinity Champions Oakton twice. I mean, it, it's just not a it's not an easy night. So you got to bring your A game every night in the Concord District. Um, if not, I mean, you can very easily walk out of the stadium wherever you're playing, home or away, uh, with your head down after because it's going to be a battle every single game. Coach, how many uh, players do you think uh, will be playing at the next level, be it Division Three, Two, or One? Well, we already have three that's going off to play. Uh, we've got Ryan O'Connor who's going to Dickinson, um, Chris Fortunato is going to Stevenson, and our, we got a, another kid that seems is going to Robert Bland uh, down in Richmond, Petersburg area. So we got three already that's going to play at the next level. Coach, you've been around for a long time, and you've had some great success there at South Lakes and others. Uh, how would you describe how the, the, the game has changed in Northern Virginia over the last few years? Obviously, it's become a hotbed, but uh, how, would you, how would you describe that, and what, what would you attribute that to? Well, I mean, it, I would say to start off with, we got some great coaches in this, in this area. Um, that's where you start. Um, you know, then after that, you just, you know, the, the players that are putting in the work. You know, you got to give credit to the players, as, as Coach Pudge said earlier. Um, they're willing to put in work. You know, we can always find a place for them to play, but it, it comes down to them putting in the work, and they have put in the work. Not just at South Lake, but every school in Northern Virginia, guys is putting in work. They know, they all know each other, and they all want to beat each other. That helps as well. Um, but it's just those guys putting in work in the off season, doing the little thing. They got to give up a lot to do this. You know. Um, and credit those guys for giving up a lot. You know, they're not hanging out as much with their buddies anymore because they got to put in work to get ready for. They want to go on to the next level. Um, I coach a college league in the, in the summertime, Division One players, and you just hear the stories of what they all. They live in the weight room, you know. And I try to tell those guys, you got to get strong and play this sport. Uh, so the more you put in the work, the better off it's going to be, pay off for you at the end. Coach, when a team goes 19 and six and it's in the regional finals. Uh, it's the head coach who gets all the, you know, all the credit. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about uh, what it takes to be an effective assistant coach, and you're probably helping coaching the other coaches. What What does it take to be a good assistant? Well, I've learned that, you know, being a good assistant is to make the head coach look good, you know, um, do the things that, you know, that things that, you know, it's no matter how you look at it and how the kids look at it, no one ever wants to talk to the head coach. <laughs> you know, so the system becomes that good guy. They can talk to your whole community and, you know, but at the end of the day, you just want to make the head coach look good um, doing the things that, you know, just being a head coach, I know what the things he does and don't want to do and so forth. Uh, but it's just 
having a good relationship with the players, uh, communicating with the players. Um, they tell me a lot more than they tell the head coach, but eventually I, they don't know. I do tell the head coach what they're talking about to make sure we're all on the same page. But like I said, at the end of the day, you just want to make the head coach look good. And, you know, it, he gets all that credit, yes. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is on that. You know, I've been in both sides. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for uh, talking with us. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Hope to see you on the field this season, and good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. This presentation of Game Day Baseball Media Day has been brought to you by The Ballpark Loudoun, the newest home for baseball training, team parties, and corporate events in Loudoun County, Virginia. Come live the experience. To watch more of Game Day Baseball Media Day, visit the Game Day Nation Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Game Day Broadcast and on Twitter at at GBN Mobile.